Hello, good morning and welcome to today's Facecast. Today we're in the New Testament letter of 2 Corinthians. So this is the second letter that St Paul has written to the church in Corinth, encouraging them, teaching them. Do you ever boast about things? It's not really a good thing or a cool thing for us to do, is it? To boast about something. We boast about how good we are at something. Playing football, baking a cake, uh, making money, helping people. Well, I wonder if we're boastful in any way. Probably most of us aren't, are we? Probably most of us realise that being boastful is not a really attractive thing. It puts people off and it's not very cool. But there's another aspect of boasting, and that is to be proud of something that you are or have, have done or maybe believe in that's, that's quite acceptable. But we're proud, for example, to represent our country in sports or our town or our village or whatever we may be doing if we're playing for the local team. We're, we're, we're proud of doing that. We've been selected to represent somebody and we are proud of that. There's nothing wrong with that, is there? You could even boast that I got picked for the team. I can't believe it. They picked me. We can even boast if we win something as a footballing team or as a netball team or whatever it might be. We won the championship this year. We won the cup and we're boastful about it. I was part of that team that won the cup. I did a good job. We did a good job. So there's a good sense of boasting and it's that good sense of boasting that we encounter in St Paul's letter to the Corinthians. In chapter 1, verse 12, he said, Now this is our boast. So he's talking about the things that we can communicate to the world that we are proud of and that we can rightly and correctly say this is a good thing. And he mentions a whole lot of things. And there's one thing I want to talk about here. It comes in verse 14, so it's a few verses later. He says... Uh, as you have understood us in part, you will come to understand fully that you can boast of us just as we will boast of you in the day of the Lord Jesus. What's going on there? Um, he wants you to understand all these things and he's talking about wisdom, holiness, sincerity, righteousness before God. That's how we should be living, he says. And as you have understood in part, you understand some of these things. You don't understand it fully yet because it takes a long time, he's saying to them, to understand these things. In fact, sometimes we don't even ever understand them. We have to do them in faith, which is, you know what I'm going to say, trusting without fully knowing. So there's all these things we should be doing. As you have understood us in part, you will come to understand fully that you can boast of us. That means you can rely on us. In the fullness of time, you'll realise that you can rely on us to help you. He's talking about himself there. You can rely on us just as we will boast of you. We can rely on you to do your part in this kingdom of God business we are in together. We can boast of you in the day of our Lord Jesus. So when Jesus returns, don't know when that's going to be, we can boast that these people in Corinth are a good lot. They've done a good job. They've kept the faith. They've lived the right lives. And that's what we want to be able to boast about, to encourage and edify each other in, that we are fulfilling the purposes that God put us here for, to live out the Christian faith. And we can encourage one another by boasting that, by being positive about it. Makes sense now, doesn't it? Have a look at that whole passage, even that whole letter, 2 Corinthians, and see how St Paul teaches them and then edifies them and builds them up and then sends them out to be the people of God. I need a bit of that every day. Do you? See you soon. Bye for now.